All right, what we have is a bearing assembly for this pump here. Notice you have your motor, your bearing assembly, your volute. It comes as a solid uh, setup. It comes on that rack. Got a new gasket for it. That is a bronze impeller. It's good to put a little bit of oil or water on the new paper gasket. It'll help hold it in place while you get it lined up. Right over there is a rag. Not too difficult to do, but we're going to do it anyway. Want to make sure you don't tear the paper gasket. And then it sits in that groove. <clears throat> if you're real anal, you'll go ahead and clean up the mating surfaces, but we'll probably be all right. You have to rotate that around a bit. <clears throat> so that grease fitting is in the 12 o'clock position. I can't tell. Can you look in there and see where we're at? Uh, yep, right there. Do you remember which bolts are there? These big ones? I think so. Put one in the top first and it'll hold your pump in place. This time we're actually going to use a set of wrenches. Make our job a little bit easier. <clears throat> if you don't have a set of ratchet wrenches, you may want to invest in them. They are a time saver, and we're all about saving time. Making money. Now, you ought to put the bolts in just like you would when you change a tire in a crisscross manner, assuring even tightening, but I've watched this guy do this a hundred times. He just puts them all in, tightens them down. We've never had an issue, so. That's the right way and the real world way. I bet we don't have a new, how's that coupling look? This is the pump coupling. I've talked about this before. It's got the teeth in it. This one's a little chewed up. So we may end up replacing that coupling. On this bearing assembly, you'll see a threaded spot right there. You can actually take one of those bolts, there's one on each side, and as you drive that bolt in there, it will help pull that bearing assembly off if you're taking it off. Sometimes they get a little rusted or frozen into place. So as you tighten that bolt in, it pushes the bearing assembly away. Yeah, see. Whenever you drop something, you have to yell at Yahtzee.
grease this here and here. You want to make sure you hit your PM. Yep, I'm gonna grease there and there. The motor's got grease there. There and there. There's about 13 volts, I believe, all together mm -hmm. to hold this bearing assembly on. He's finishing that up. This is a balancing valve. You can set it up to your uh, max flow. All right, we've decided to use the existing pump coupling. So now what will have to happen, <clears throat> once we get that in, we slide the motor up turn it so that the gears fit in the slots, give it a little oomph, <clears throat> motor has four bolts that lock it into place, remember what I told you, if it's got some kind of an eyelet, it probably means it's pretty heavy, so this motor here, does have an eyelet for lifting. You want to pause it and get a verify that these two are nice and straight. This one here, we're pretty confident that it's good, but sometimes you got to use a straight edge across there. Yeah, if you don't get this aligned properly, you'll chew up couplings. Um, so it's critical that you do get everything lined up straight and true. Get it. Safety first. This bracket actually helps support that bearing assembly and then the, there's a cover that goes over that coupling and that'll go on last. So two bolts secure that to the frame, and then two bolts will secure the support piece to the bearing assembly. You want to tighten the ones on the uh, on the bearing assembly first, and that will pretty much align the base for you. This is a bit of a pain.
nut washer washer or bolt washer washer nut Once you get the bearing assembly on, you can open up the water side of the system. Uh, we'll probably just wait till we get this cover on, but <clears throat> check and see if you have any leaks. It's not necessarily uncommon if they leak a little initially in the beginning when you turn it on, but we have had them straight from being rebuilt where they just continue to leak and leak and leak. So if you're system has water treatment with rust inhibitors that uses nitrites they need a special seal on the bearing assembly um, so just be aware of that where ratchet wrenches are nice you got to do this with a regular wrench you only get a little bit a little bit of range of motion so it'd be kind of a pain having to reset your wrench every eighth of a turn sockets would work too um, but sometimes it's just the ratchet wrenches kind of give you the best of both worlds Last thing to do, open the valves. Well, if you look right here, this is an adjustable device that if you were balancing this valve to a certain gallons per minute, you would adjust this, and when it gets to this slot right here, that's when you would stop. This particular one, because it's a big building, it just goes, it just goes all the way over. It's not uncommon sometimes for these valves to leak around this stem there. And this is a packing nut. And sometimes you can tighten that packing nut and that will solve the problem. Other times it may just be leaking. So as you can see, it's lined up pretty well. Sometimes they line them up with the top of this seat or sometimes they line them up with this little ring here. This one obviously is just all the way down. It looks like it's lined up more with the top of the seat. Good thing to take a picture of before you start. But when we did this, we knew that it was all the way open. When you go to open these valves, because there's air gap here, there's an air gap in here even though you open the one, no way for the water to get out. It's drained right now. Make sure you close your drain, but when you open it, you want to go really, really careful. Just kind of nice and slow. I can actually hear water hissing in there right now. You can see the gauge is coming up. Lots of times that gauge won't even work. Once I see it kind of stopping, then I'm good to go ahead and open it the rest of the way. But you don't want to just jam it open because you'll get a bad water, water hammer. That's tough on your seals too. That's it. We're ready to crank it up. Thanks guys.